What's going on, y'all? It's Dino Ball Party Boy. Real quick, we finna get right into this video. So, um, apparently, the director of Squid Game responded to LeBron's criticism of the finale. And uh, apparently, he responded by saying, um, he, he said, like, uh, have you seen uh, Space Jam 2? Obviously, indicating that he didn't like it either. And he also said how... Uh, LeBron could make like his own uh, Squid Game sequel, and and like he'll watch it all the way to the end and say that he didn't like it either, which I honestly feel like is petty as hell. Cause like, I mean, I don't know why he's like. It kind of seemed like he was a little bit bothered by it, which I mean I'm not really sure why. Like, not everyone's going to like the ending. Like me, I I didn't like the ending. I really didn't really like the ending because like i'm pretty sure the whole no, uh, no i'm not pretty sure i i know that the whole reason that he like entered in the competition was so that he could win the money to like take care of his daughter because i mean and well and pay off his debts because dude was a gambler and like i was disappointed in the ending too like i was low-key pissed off you're telling me you won all that money to take care of your family Spend time with your daughter and pay off your debts. And you and when you win the ticket, you do nothing with it? My nigga, what? But, um, yeah, I feel like it was way more blown out of proportion than, um, the, uh, than, um, than the media, like, made it out to be. Because, like, the media made it as if, um, that uh, they were both, like, uh, being disrespectful to each other and i'm just like well lebron wasn't being disrespectful the uh director was just like loki being petty as all living hell like i'm not sure why he was that angry like he literally told him like he literally said that lebron could make his own spinoff just so that he could tell lebron that he liked the whole series except for the ending and i'm just like it's not that serious but okay like and then uh, people were saying that apparently he uh, took 10 years to make this uh, series, which I hope is not true. I really hope it's not that true. Because, like, wh why would it take that long to make a series? I don't, I don't get it. Like, what? Why in the world, world would it take that long? Look, uh, I'm, I'm just confused by the whole thing, really. And it's just like, and, and it's crazy how he didn't say anything about Anthony Davis because he was literally having the conversation with Anthony Davis uh, when he said that. And Anthony Davis, a Anthony Davis also said that he did not like the ending to uh, Squid Game, but he didn't say anything about Anthony Davis. He said something about LeBron only. Weird, but okay. Also, it's not like uh, he meant for that to, like, come out. Like, he was literally just being filmed talking about that by some reporter. I'm pretty sure he didn't tell that reporter, hey, 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 I need you to stand there and start recording while me and him talk about this scene. And it's not even like LeBron said it in a disrespectful way. Like, oh, the finale was absolute shitty. Uh, the... The creator is an absolute moron for that ending. He's a dumbass. Like, no, all he said was that he didn't like the ending. But yet, the creator just took it way too personal. Like, he just took it way too personally. Like, he brought up LeBron's uh, Space Jam 2, which, again, I'm not really... I, I guess he was saying how he didn't really have much to, like, trash talk or something like that. But I'm just like, so, like, I just didn't understand. So, like, it was okay for him to have an opinion, but it wasn't okay for LeBron to have an opinion? Like, is that what he was trying to say? Because, like, how are you going to get mad at someone for having an opinion on their movie and you don't like it, so in return... So, like, in response, you share your opinion on something that they made. 
aren't you literally doing the same thing that you just got mad at, man, I get? Like, you're literally the pot calling the kettle black. I don't get it, bro. It's just like, I mean, I, I enjoyed both Space Jam and Squid Game, but I enjoyed the ending to Space Jam 2 way more. But like Squid Game, I was just disappointed. Like he won all that money and did nothing with it. He gave it away. Well, actually, no, I'm lying. He did use it. Like he, he got red hair. He got a suit on at the end of the movie. And then uh, he went on a plane to like stop the game from happening again. But like, I mean, I guess it was like a cliffhanger sort of thing. But, like, I mean, I just don't really like how it took him so long to use the ticket. Like, if I would have went through all that pain and suffering, I would have used that ticket immediately and dripped myself out. But I do like how um he did actually eventually, like, fix himself up after looking like a whole fucking bum for a year after that. So, um, I, I didn't mean to say how he didn't do anything with the money. He did do something with the money, but, like, it just wasn't really clear what he was doing with it because I can't even remember where he was going on that plane to. Like, I think he was going to, like, stop the game from happening again. But, like, at the same time, I'm not sure. I thought he was going to, like, save his daughter. Uh, but anyways, man, that's how I felt about the um, uh, whole situation real quick. I felt like the Squid Game director took it too personally. Like, but uh, whatever. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Y'all let me know yours in the comment section down below. I'm Donovan Putty Boy. I'll see y'all in the next video. Later, bitch.